Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Donovan with High Off Blue Hour and this video is about adjustment clips in DaVinci Resolve. When I first started working with DaVinci Resolve, to be honest, I did not really pay much attention to adjustment clips. I kind of wrote them off as something that was maybe a little bit more advanced than what I needed to be concerned with at the time. I was kind of like, let me just pay attention to the quote unquote basics and I'll worry about all that other stuff later. And so I was slow about getting around to adjustment clips. But when I finally did start to use adjustment clips and just really pay attention to them, it was it really was a game changer for the whole editing process. A great example of the idea of work smarter, not harder. So let me get into the timeline here. And I've got some just sample stock footage clips already in the media pool. I'll drag one of them in. And it's just, you know, city type footage, kind of my, my default for footage is nighttime city skylines and lights and all that type of stuff. So that's what we got here. So before adjustment clips, any type of edit, uh, color grading, zooming or panning, any, any of that type of dynamic movement, any of that type of stuff, I would do directly to the video clip so as you can imagine over the course of a whole project different color grading changes uh, zooming and panning and, and you know titles and text and just all the different things that you you know you can imagine you might do over the course of a project when it comes to editing it got tedious and so it, it really and it got you know not fun basically so but with edit with adjustment clips what you do is all those edits all those all those different you know the color grading all those different things you do those to the adjustment clip instead of directly to your video file to the video clip and so where you find your adjustment clips you come over here to your toolbox which drops down and you go down to your effects and you click your effects you get your options over here an adjustment clip should be at the top somewhere you take the adjustment clip and you drag it over into the timeline you want your adjustment clip to be above whatever it is that you're trying to change. Um, so in this case, let's say it's a color grading. Let's say you want a color grading to run throughout the whole video, throughout this whole clip. You want a single color grading. So you would drag the adjustment clip out to cover the whole clip. And maybe you would move the adjustment clip up a few tracks, you know, higher so that there's room for other assets and graphics and things to go uh, below it so that those assets and graphics fall within the parameters of the adjustment clip as well but for this we'll just have the adjustment clip directly right above our main initial clip right so let's say there was a color grading you wanted now in the past i would add a color grading directly to the, the video clip i'd click the video clip highlight it and then i'd go into the color tab and do all the color grading directly to uh, the video clip. But with adjustment clips, what you would do, and of course, you know, you can imagine how that could become an issue because eventually there'd be certain clips or maybe a certain scene or a B-roll or something that's, you know, an edit that's inserted into the timeline that I wouldn't want that specific color grade to be there. So I'd have to do, you know, it's like this thing where you have to stop the color grade and then reapply it on the other side and just all that type of stuff. Just all the different things that come with having to change something and then change it back and then change something. So with an adjustment clip, you add the color grading to the adjustment clip. So instead of highlighting the actual video clip, you highlight the adjustment clip above it and then you go into your color tab and add the color grading for this purpose we'll just use this kind of black and white monochromatic type uh, color grading here and so you put it on there now this color grading has been applied to the adjustment clip not to the actual clip so to further kind of drive that home let's drag the adjustment clip back so it's a little bit kind of shorter so it's not covering the whole video clip so you'll see when i press play see when it gets off of the adjustment clip it goes back to the original you know kind of color of the original clip below the adjustment clip now this same type of principle goes for 
you know zooming and keyframing as well so to further give an example of that let's take the adjustment clip and add a i'm gonna i'm going to add a zoom kind of zoom motion to just the adjustment clip right so we'll start out we're gonna zoom in so that towards the middle of the adjustment clip we're gonna by the time we get to the middle of the, the adjustment clip we're gonna be zoomed in to about right here so just rather simple movement so let's start off of the adjustment clip so you can kind of see the whole change from default base video clip to adjustment clip over the default base video clip so let's press play and you see we got the zoom motion with the, the the color grading and then as soon as the adjustment clip ends it goes right back to what that default video clip was so what you can also do as well with adjustment clips if you have a you know there might be a motion or an action and by action i just mean you know an animation or or, or, or color grade change any change that you've added to an adjustment clip that's what i mean when i say action um there might be a motion or an action that you want to reuse further down the timeline so what you can do is you just highlight your adjustment clip and copy it and then further down the timeline in that spot where you want to use it you can just paste it and now you have that same action being used over a new part of the timeline now because this whole this video clip that i'm using is just all just this same kind of building it kind of it almost looks like i'm just replaying footage so let me bring in another clip to kind of further drive home the nature of adjustment clips so i'm going to bring in this clip here and this clip is just it's just a kind of long exposure of or not a long exposure a hyper hyper time lapse or whatever of just this corduroy in a city somewhere right so i'm gonna come over here and paste the very same adjustment clip that we've been using for this whole time and now we're going to get the same action but just with a new a new video same action new video now this doesn't look particularly aesthetic but you see what see my point the functionality of it all let's do it again see same action so what you're doing with the adjustment clip you're not really moving footage around you're moving directions around you're moving actions around you're moving parameters around when you copy and paste adjustment clips and that's just really what i like about it just a hey, clearly you know i'm sure you can think of you know use cases for yourself in terms of how you how you could use adjustment clips the different uh different ways and different reasons adjustment clips would be such a useful thing but yeah so that's pretty much the video just very simple kind of rudimentary examples of a, the adjustment clip in action but i think you can very quickly see why adjustment clips are a fantastic tool in davinci resolve so that's the video you guys thank you for watching i will catch you on the next one